Beauty and the Beast. Once there lived a merchant with three daughters. The two elder daughters were selfish and wicked. The youngest one was so sweet that he named her Beauty. Once the merchant had to go away for work. What gifts do you want? He asked. The eldest demanded a pearl necklace. The second wanted diamonds. Beauty asked for a red rose. While returning, the merchant had gifts for his two elder daughters, but he couldn't find the perfect rose for Beauty. Suddenly, he stumbled upon an enchanting castle and went inside. There was no one in the castle. Strangely, a royal feast was laid out at the dining table. He was very hungry, so he ate the food. He went upstairs and went to bed. Next morning, the merchant saw some beautiful red roses in the garden of the castle. Wow! I must take one of these roses for beauty, he said. A scary beast appeared and demanded to know why he was stealing his rose. The merchant replied that it was for his daughter, Beauty. Then you must send Beauty to live with me, the beast replied. On reaching home, the merchant's voice trembled as he told Beauty everything. I must go, father, Beauty said. Bravely, Beauty went to the castle. The beast always treated her with kindness and respect. Soon, she became fond of him. After some days, Beauty started missing her father badly. Beast let her go home. Beauty promised to return soon. Her father was delighted to see her. Her sisters claimed to be happy, but they were furious to see her return. Beauty loved her family's company. One night, she dreamed of the beast lying on the floor in poor health. She went to the castle immediately. She found the beast in the exact same condition. Why didn't you come back soon? gasped the beast. She sobbed. He asked her to marry him. She agreed immediately. Instantly, the beast turned into a handsome prince. Oh, beauty, thank you. A wicked magician turned me into a beast. The spell would only end if a beautiful girl were to promise to marry me, he said. Soon, they were married. The merchant was very happy with the marriage. They lived happily ever after.